Good morning. This is Mr. Eshelman. It's Monday, May 11th, 2020, and we're getting ready for a new start to the online week of learning. Hope you had a great weekend and were able to get outside and enjoy some nice weather. Maybe yesterday, Saturday was pretty chilly, but um, had some sunshine. So hopefully you got outside this weekend, got some fresh air, got some exercise, and got some rest as well to get ready to go for our next week of math and reading some fun things to do for specials and lots of other activities as well. So keep up the good work. Let us know how we can help you out this week. And um, we look forward to seeing all the great things you accomplish as we go throughout our days um, throughout the rest of May, gearing up for the end of the school year and getting you ready for your next grade. Birthdays today, we have one, Nathan, one of our fifth graders celebrates a birthday today. So happy birthday, Nathan. And just a reminder of our eagle expectations, they're not just the expectations of how we behave and how we act when we're at school, but also all throughout uh, the community and at our homes with our brothers and sisters and moms and dads and grandparents and babysitters and whoever um, is in charge of taking care of us and helping us out. And also for the people that we take care of and help out too, maybe little brothers and little sisters, you help out with schoolwork and things. So Eagle expectations go beyond the walls of Denver Elementary. And remember, they're being respectful, responsible, safe, and kind. So you can be respectful by thinking about others and thinking about how they might feel based on what you're saying or doing at the time. Being responsible, getting your jobs done, things like doing your schoolwork without your parents having to remind you or without your teachers having to remind you. And uh, putting forth your best effort is part of being responsible as well. And also being safe. I'm sure you're getting outside more now that the weather's getting nicer. And I know it's tempting to climb all the way to the top of that tree, but maybe you don't need to go out on that limb that's just barely strong enough to support you before it snaps. Because that sounds like something I probably would have done when I was in elementary school, and that didn't always go well. So that's why we need to remember to be safe and be smart decision makers. It's not always easy for kids and for adults too. But especially now that we're home and not at school, we need to be making smart decisions about being safe and being healthy and also being kind. So we want to be friendly and nice to others. This is a time more than ever to be friendly and nice to others. There's no point to create arguments and have a fuss over something that isn't really that big of a deal in, in the grand scheme of things. So eagle expectations. Remember, those things are for Denver Elementary School, but more importantly, there for when you're beyond the walls of Denver Elementary School. And as we go on to our um, talk of kindness, our virtual happy walk is still going on. This is the final week for that. So take a look at the information on the screen. If you are able to help out, that's great. And this is a great way to support uh, the Avidum Club at, at Cocalico School District. So um, keep walking, whether you're doing the Avidum virtual happy walk or you're getting some exercise and fresh air and getting some steps in, no matter how you cut it, getting the fresh air goes a long way in making you happier and it gives you some good exercise too and keeps you healthy. And when we look at the quote on the screen, it says, start each day with a grateful heart. That's from an unknown source, an unknown author. But that's a pretty common theme. Sometimes, especially now, we might not be as thankful, right? Because we're missing out on things that we like to do. There have been a lot of Mother's Days where I've gone to the Phillies games. There's a lot of times there's a Phillies game on Mother's Day and they have like pink baseball bats and pink batting gloves to celebrate bombs and things. And this year, no Phillies game, no baseball at all. So um, does that mean we can't be grateful for what we have? Of course not. We can be grateful for the things that we have. We can still visit with family members from a distance and um, we can be thankful for our health and for the fact that we um, have the ability to still learn, even though we're not at Denver Elementary School, and many, 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 many other things. So start each day with a grateful heart. Sometimes I have to remember that because sometimes I get out of bed on the wrong side and maybe I'm a little grouchier than what I need to be. And then I remember, why am I grouchy? There's a whole lot of things I have to be thankful for. And that it usually cheers me up a little bit. Question of the day looks like we have some shapes today. So the question involves symmetry. 
if you're not sure what symmetry is, you can ask uh, someone at your house. They might know. There's, if you have a device, there's probably a way you can figure it out by using your device. And maybe you remember from when, from when you were in school, depending on what grade you're in. So the shapes have three questions that go, go with them. One is, which shapes have exactly one line of symmetry? Only one. Which shapes have more than one line of symmetry? There are a few that have more than one line of symmetry. And then there is one shape that does not have a line of symmetry. Although whenever I've asked students this question in the past or put this shape where, um, where it is on the screen or on a piece of paper, they always draw a line of symmetry because it seems like it should have one, but it actually doesn't. Can you figure out which one does not have a line of symmetry? And then two jokes today. The first one is a student joke, and it follows up on one of our Friday jokes. So one of our third grade friends suggested this one. It says, why was the broom late for school? Because it overswept. Remember that broom last week that had to go to sweep because it was tired? So this time, the broom really had to sleep. It even overswept. So the next question, what do you call a boomerang that won't come back? A stick. Because you throw it, and it's just a stick. It's a piece of wood. It doesn't come back. Maybe you try that when you play fetch with your dog. And the last thing we'll do this morning is our Pledge of Allegiance. Let's stand up together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So have a great day. It's Monday. It's a fresh start to the week. So get off to a good start. Let us know how we can help you out. Put forth your best effort. And we look forward to seeing you each day throughout the week. Have a great Monday. And we'll see you tomorrow on the morning announcements.